Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kevin Plays Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. Today we are going up against Gideon Jura who is playing the white deck that we recently played, the Wielding Steel deck. But we're going to be using the last of the 10 decks which is Jace's Realm of Illusion deck. Which has some counter magic in it and it basically plays some little flying dudes and attacks. I think it's, it's basically an illusion deck. It may have the lord, lord in it, I'm not sure. So, looking at our opening hand, we only have one land, um, and I'm sure that this can't get there. So we're going to go ahead and draw a new one. Uh, so we have Phantasmal Bear, Croven Mist, which is power and toughness is equal to the number of illusions on the battlefield. We have two of those. So I think we can keep this. Unfortunately, we're not on the play. But he's not going to be, doesn't have a turn one. So We'll play our bear and pass the turn. He's an illusion. He's just a 2-2 when he becomes a target of a spell or ability to sacrifice it. Which isn't that great against the Gideon deck. So you can just tap dudes and stuff. So this actually is probably going to be a really hard matchup for us. <laughs> now that I think about it, this is probably be a horrible deck to be using against him. So he's going to play Stoneforge Mystic, lets him search for an equipment and put it in his hand. And he can pay 1-1 one one white to, and tap it to put it onto the battlefield. He's getting a trusty machete, which equipped creature gets plus two, plus one. We're drawing a bunch of land, which is not what we want. This guy's flying, so we're just going to pass the turn and next turn play the other one and attack with him. Use the bear to pump him. And hope he doesn't have anything that's going to target our guys. But that's pretty rare that he won't. <laughs> so he's gonna play his trusty machete. He'll probably equip it. Nope, he's gonna play another dude. Well, he's gonna equip it with the other dude. Core Outfitter, when it comes into play, you can attach an equipment you control to a creature you control. He hasn't played anything that targets yet. Of course, we're drawing land after land after land. Which is not good. But at least we have two 3 3 flyers. Now, if we draw a Lord of the Unreal, then we might actually be in good shape. Because then we'll have a bunch of 4 4 flyers and swing for 8, and they won't be able to be targeted if they stick around that long. So we're just going to take the 3. And Sudi has post. Core Duelist gets double strike if it's equipped. I'm just glad he hasn't played the guy that he can pay one and tap it to tap a creature because then all my guys would be dead by now. And equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each creature you control. Definitely got some aggro going on here. Ooh, we can bounce a dude. Um, who would I want to bounce anyway? Not an illusion. We're going to attack first. Um, probably going to bounce the double striker because we don't want him to be a 6 6 attack. Or a 7 7, actually. Or no, 8 8. He'd do 8 2. He'd be a 4 4. Um, so, yeah, we're going to play this and bounce this guy. Because that would really hurt. Plus he might even be able to equip the machete to it and just swing and annihilate us. We're going to try to get there with our flyers, so. He's going to replay it. We'll probably equip it this turn. Yep, he's going to equip it. <sighs> so he can swing for 8 next turn. We're just going to take this. No reason to block it. Surprised he didn't attack with his 3 3. I guess he didn't want to lose it or something, but. Uh, that cancels a little late. But I guess he can't do anything. Like, he can't kill us. And he's going to drop to 5. So, as long as we can survive this attack. So, he has 11, 13 showing to drop us to 2, and we can counter anything he plays. Of course we can block with our dude. 
He's not an illusion, so it's not relevant. That's fine. That's fine. Crip creature has flying. Um, who's he gonna give flying? Let's see, he's eight, nine, ten. We're looking at twelve. What else could he play? Could play give our guys protection from blue if he has that, which would give him eight, twelve, thirteen damage. But I don't think he has it. Um, and we need to stop the flying because we need to get in there next time for lethal. So, where is my card? Can I select my card, please? There we go. Cancel. Yeah, we don't want him to get flying because then he can block our guys and we need to win next turn. So he's just going to play another core duelist. So I think we got this game. Fortunately, he didn't play anything that he could target our guys with. And it was good enough for us to get there. Gonna drop us to 10. Well, he could have actually dropped us to 1 if he attacked. Well, he could have blocked, but... Um, you know what? I'm just gonna block. Just for the sake of it. Because we've got enough to win with our flyers anyway. No reason to take that damage. And we drew a counter spell. Which is not a standard anymore, but it was amazing. Counter target spell. So we're going to be able to swing in with our two flyers for six and be able to win. He doesn't have any flyers. So that'll be it. Uh, you can check the annotations at the end to find the playlist for all the matches as they are uploaded, as well as the playlist for all the challenges as they are uploaded. And be sure to come back uh, next time for our last gameplay match as we go up against Karn, who actually has a really good deck. I will see you all then.